Hello, I uh, welcome to Elite Just Passion. I am Shama Kirima, and I welcome you to today's class. Today we'll be doing uh, interpolation. So in this interpolation, we're going to carry it in three parts of the video. The part one, we'll be doing the preparing the distribution map of a lab result. Then the part two, we're going to make a map layout. Now, why am I doing on this way? So that you understand from when you've prepared your data on the map, uh, the, the map view, the layout view, then you, from the data view, sorry, then you move to the layout view. So I want to show you how to do that. And then lastly, on this part, how to create a multi pro map on like you have, you know, most of the lab result comes in. So we have a data here that we, you, that will make you understand more. So these are heavy metals. Now we have pipe sites with the X and Y, named label as longitude and latitude. So these uh, heavy metals are lead, they are cadmium, they are arsenic, mercury and copper so you see that the value here are just in 1.9 this 0.08 and all that so if this was given to you you will basically not understand it as it should be but if this was given to you in form of uh, a visual um a pictorial format you will understand beta so that's what we're going to be doing in the part one video so all of this we will put this after the whole thing in one layout. That's why I said we're going to create a multiple map in one layout. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started into the video. So welcome to part one. Part one, we're going to be preparing the distribution map of the lab result. So first and foremost, you start your ArcGIS and I'm using ArcGIS 10.8.2. But well, basically, any ArcGIS from 10.0 down to where I am now, it does the same thing. All right, so uh, to bring in the data for us to do analysis, you'll go to File, and from File, you will go to Add Data. Now, on Add Data, you go to Add XY Data. All right, so from the XY Data, you will select this folder here so that you go to the format the field that containing the work. So um, this work is in New York. So we have New York here, and uh, we have heavy metals. And uh, yes, so we click on the heavy metals, and then we add it. So we have long, which is our X, and lat, which is our Y. So we will bring it in as Mena with zone 32 because this work is in Port Harcourt and Port Harcourt is in Mena zone 32 of Nigeria so it's zone 32 yeah so from here you click OK and you allow this to load roll all the things in will take okay so we we'll have this so from here we right click and then you go to data and you export the data so you save this data in the folder that you want all right so i'll go back to new work we have a work folder created so we already have heavy here so i'm not going to create any more so I'm just going to cancel. So once you say save now, it's going to ask whether you should overwrite it. But I'm not going to do that. Once you overwrite, it will export this into a future class. So we're going to remove this. So here I'm going to go and add the shape file or the future class. All right. So I'll enter inside work and then I'm going to add either heavy or heavy metals. They are the same thing. Let me also add the other one so that we see if they carry the same thing. The soul dancing movement. This is a minute command. She was that. 
So you see, I think this heavy is the correct one. So let's remove this. Yeah, so now we are going to process this. Now we are, I prefer using Krigin methods of um, interpolation. So you can go into search and search for Krigin. So we have Krigin 3D, we have Krigin Basher. So we go with 3D Spatial Analyst. We also have Geostatistical. Sometimes I use Geostatistical, but Krigin has been proven over time from different research to be a better interpolation techniques. All right. So here you will be our input. Let's give you exactly what you want to prove. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So there was that value now. We'll be picking one among this. So I'm going to just pick maybe three of them so that we produce these three and put them in the same layout or for anyone. So we're going to start with lead. Right. So um Apply the kicking dot casting. Our output location will still be in the new work. So I'm just going to create a new folder to have this. So I'm just going to name it as new. Okay, so let's leave it like this. So we enter inside and then we're going to create this as um, let.tif. Okay. And we're going to leave it as universe, so as ordinary and leaving it as spherical. No, you okay. Um, you know, you bought the dinner furniture for worlds. I thought it would, I will, you have to call it over here, they'll find it from the album. And then we'll order a body, we will copy it out of the more car to go born. So, call it with sign, say, inside of that, we'll be funny with it. But you don't know, one after the day, I put spent up on our racing to our day. It should look more attractions than cow for the rest of the road game. Killing one good and eight wings, weeks. Let's process the next one while this one is working. So our input will still be heavy. Our this will be cadmium, and then our folder we're still going to have cadmium and dot tif. So we save and we OK. That's more. You always, you always said. Also, has been Also, cadmium has introduced. Then we go back again to do the third one. So this time around, I'm going to produce that of mercury. No, I didn't make one assumption that they installed that. I'll do mercury and copper. Because they didn't want to to now, like, so it's deep to go where you love to go. Like, you won't be said that one, let's see, so I might have come down. Issue is the one, he leaves the money now. And we give it that thing, it's the rule right. No, that Mercury didn't execute, so let's do it again. The initial was it was the birds to master green. The other one you was you might be what I gave you is not a twin deep to it. And you sent some in the little illusion. Dot TYF and then let's okay. In this domain, thus choose a digital witcher. So let's go back and do the last one, which is um, copper. So our input is still this. You can decide to have this separate, separate, but it's better you have all of them in one place so that you can easily um, produce them like this. So we have copper dot tif, and then you save, and you OK. Okay, so copper also has been produced. I think copper has a range of two to two. Okay, let me check what range is to other one so that I we have Lloyd cadmium. Okay, all right. So I think it's basically mercury and this. Let's produce this copper again. I don't trust it. Well, anyway, let's leave it like that. We could change the value from here. Or better still, let's reproduce copper because the copper is not supposed to apply, appear as one um, 
as one factor like this, just one value. So, heavy and copper. And uh, I'm going to put copper one now. I'll just edit it to copper one. And let's see it goes here. Let me see. I'm just trying it. Let's see what it will produce. Okay, we have a value produced better than the other one. So, yeah, let's remove this copper. So, what we need to do here next is to prepare this data for... Um, we're using these three data. So, we'll prepare this data so that the next video will take care of the next. So, you go right-click on each of them, go to copper, right-click and go to properties, sorry. Then property, you go to symbology, and then you go to classified now under classified um let's say we are only doing this for five let's see let's say we're doing it for five um we're using, using it for five uh classes now the next thing we're going to do here is to round this to a good maybe three digits so we have four point one seven seven so we can round it to four point one Eight, and we have um, two point four two six. So we can make it two point four two seven. All right. So we have two point four two seven here. So this is what we're going to do for the remaining part of the. So this would be four four. This way we're going to do for the remaining three. So that we don't have a redundant data. But I'm just going to cut off anything I can see. Just for the purpose of let's get this video done with. Don't have it to be too long. This will be fair. Also, the only double variance of mass effects of buying in into a by view. And finally, this will be with three. So we're done with this. Now you will see that this, you see the way this appear, right? All right, so we'll do same to this and do same to the last one. So we'll turn this to five and let's trim this out. I'm just going to randomly remove so that we don't this as well so we'll go for the last one and then we we'll do the same thing as we've been doing before we we'll turn this to five the classes now and uh we we'll begin to Okay, so we have all of this produced for this 
three out of the ones we've done. So we've been able to um, do an interpolation on this lab value. We started from looking at this data on Excel, and uh, we produce for lead, we produce for mercury, they will produce for this cadmium, but I changed my mind. So we're only going to use lead, mercury, and uh, copper. Okay, so we'll be able to use uh, Kriegian interpolation techniques to produce this. I will be able to refine the data so that it can appear on your legend very well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. But don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Because there's more goodies coming your way. See you in part two. Bye-bye.